So we here at Applied Micro. So who are you? Hi, my name is Kumar Shankaran and I'm the Senior Director of Software and Platform Engineering and I'm responsible for all the software and platforms for all products within Applied Micro. So what we are doing today is we are at the R Android Developer Conference here in San Francisco and we are going to be showing uh, several products here during the show. So this is the, uh, the uh, product from Applied Micro. This is the, the Mustang board or the XC1 board. And this XC1, is the, so it's launching right now commercially. Every, anybody can buy it. Anybody can buy it, that's right. So anybody can buy this product today. And uh, this is the board we are selling commercially today, yes. And we are offering a promotion at this event. And uh, this is the Mustang XC1 platform. We are offering it in two different uh, SKUs. One is a lower end SKU called the basic SKU, which is what I'm holding in my hand here. And the other is a premium or a plus SKU, which is this box here in this mini ITX form factor. And both are available for sale today at the event. So this board is, uh, it's an ARM 64-bit platform. And this is the first in the world, uh, the ARM 64-bit development kit from Applied Micro. So this and is the first in the world 64-bit development board available, anybody can buy? Anybody can buy it commercially today, yes. In so what is the 64-bit ARM CPU you have in there? So this is called the X XGene 1 platform. So it's 2.4 gigahertz, 8 cores, and uh, running in uh, effectively SMP mode. And uh, then we have uh, other peripherals on this board that are, uh, that are there uh, built into the SOC. So this is an SOC that incorporates all these peripherals within one chip. So we have 10 gigabit Ethernet in an XFI form factor that you see here. And then we have multiple SGMI 1 gigabit Ethernet. And we have a USB and an RGMI Ethernet here. And in addition, we have SDIO that is used for booting and backup and restore. And RS-232 UR. And in, on the other side of the board here, let me turn the board. And we have a PCI by 8 connector. And we have uh, four SATA ports over here. And then we have two DDR channels for a total of 16 gigabytes of memory. 16 gigabytes of memory. That's right. You can have 16 GB RAM. 16 you can GB have RAM. four times four ter six terabyte hard disk. This is a big, big thing. There's a, a lot of things happening here. That's right. So it's a server product. It's mainly designed for the servers. And today at the Android conference here, we think this is a good opportunity for all the Android app developers to adopt this platform. And uh, so here is at the, for the conference here. Let's yeah. Kind of move over there. Okay. And uh, so here is what we are doing today at the Android. So we are showing a live boot of Android working on the same Applied Micro XC1 platform. So we'll take a look at this here and then we'll move to the actual demo. So here is what we are doing. It's the same board you see here, the Mustang platform, the XC1. And then we are pairing that with an NVIDIA G4 7600 PCI based graphics card. So you add, you have support for graphics card? Yes, we have support for native graphics card. It's kind of like a world first, huh? That's right. Nobody so else has ever form. done it before. Nobody has ever done a graphics on an ARM V8 chip, that's correct. Yeah. And uh, we're, so this is this laptop here that you see is used for the Android CDL console, and we are using a mouse and a keyboard for controlling the GUI. And on the right side here, you see the monitor, which is what we're going to see in a few seconds from now where you launch the Android GUI. So we're here at the Android Development Conference and right. DevCon. Yep, and, and DevCon. Uh, and here you had a you had a session, right? So, yeah, yeah. So I had a session here yesterday where we presented effectively the Android boot up and how important it is for all Android developers to adopt the ARM 64-bit platform for their app development. Because this is for developers to start working on 64-bit Android. It's the only one they can they can do right now. That's right. Anybody can get it That's and right. start working on Android 64-bit. Correct. So it's all available in open source today. People can download the software, develop their own apps, compile it, and optimize it on our architecture, yes. Android 5 is going to have really nice 64-bit support. That's right. Android 5 is going to have native built-in support for 64-bit. Correct. So right here, what are you showing? Yeah. So here, what we're showing is the same platform and with the graphics card paired in there. So we have the graphics NVIDIA PCI card on the PCI by 8 slot on the Mustang board. And all the other peripherals are pretty much the same as what we saw before. So we have the CPU working here, you can see the fan over there. And uh, the internet is on the back and then we have the keyboard and the USB mouse that are connected on the USB port on the back side. So that's the plus, right? That's the plus, correct. This is the so plus this is port. SATA over there? That's right. So there's the four SATA ports. One of them is used for the Android group file system and the UART is on the back. And there's a hard drive right here. There's a hard drive that's built into this thing. And this is a mini ITX chassis that we are selling commercially and we are offering a promotion for this, this show today. 
the hole, everything. The whole chassis, that's right. All right, so and, uh, what are you showing? Uh, this, this is GUI. the actual GUI. So this is the actual Android GUI. This is good in Android. And uh, we'll go here, navigate to the to the home menu here. And here you can see the Android the standard logo and all the apps with an Android that you see. And now we look at the, the settings here that will show you the version of Android that you're running here. Scroll down to about, okay. Here is the about screen on the Android. Uh, so you can see the version of Android is 4043, which stands for KitKat. So that's the version of Android. The model number is Mustang, as you can see here. And the kernel version is what was done by Lenaro. So we ordered the version that Lenaro had done for our V8. And it's the 310 52 kernel. So all the Lenaro engineers have this right now. That's correct. They're all uh, optimizing everything for it. That's correct. So going forward, this is going to be optimized for the uh, for Android Lollipop. And that's the next version that will be coming out shortly. All right. So, so let's see. Let's do an unboxing of... Uh... Yes. So as, as I mentioned, we're selling two SKUs of this product today. And... Uh, yeah. So this is the, the basic SKU, so let me okay. open the box here. So this is, we are offering a promotion here. Um, and uh, so this is the uh, So this is the basic Laroshin kit, comes with a... And you started uh, selling this for a couple of weeks, right? For a couple of weeks, it's been going on live. So you can buy it from our website at www.apm.com. APM.com, anybody can go. Anybody can go and buy it. Use your credit card, buy it today. Yes. Right. There is no licensing or anything required anymore. And uh, let's see what's inside, right? Yeah, so in this, uh, this is the basic development kit that we just spoke about. And here we are offering the, the Mustang board. It comes with a mini ITX power supply. Uh, there is a US, UART USB connector for connecting to your, uh, connecting to your laptop. And uh, we also provide documentation. So the standard price of this is $1,495 US dollars. And then we are offering a de developer promotion of $895. So we can buy it for $895 today at the show. All right. And in terms of the hardware features, it's a 8-core CPU at 1.6 gigahertz, 8 gigabyte of memory, and uh, 1 gigabyte Ethernet port and SGMI port, PCIe and SATA and SDI. So moving to the software side, we have a U-Boot and uh, open source Linux preloaded, and we also support UEFI Tiano Core as a BIOS. And on the commercial vendor side, we support Ubuntu 14.04 LTS, Red Hat, Fedora, and OpenSUSE. So they are all available in open source for download on this platform today. Nice. So, uh, so the second. So you the first. You 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 adopted ARM 64, ARM right. V8. You're the first to announce and do it that's and right. make so it happen. A, that's right. So it's been a long journey for over three years. So we worked with ARM in defining the standard for the ARM 64 itself, and we are an architectural licensee of the technology. So we develop our own CPU with an applied micro. And that's what is there in these X-Gene family of processors that you see today. And it's crazy today. You, you just showed me up to 16 GB RAM. That's and right. uh, this wouldn't be possible with the, without V8. That's correct. Exactly. And a whole bunch of other features, right? That's correct, yeah. The product natively supports up to uh, 256 gigabytes of RAM. The SOC supports that. But in this form factor here, it's a smaller form factor, so we have put 16 gigabytes in this. And it supports a whole bunch of hard drives. Yes. So, so this can be for this can be uh, you know like for uh, lots of storage. That's right. So it can be for a storage or a Hadoop deployment. It can be for memcached, which needs a very large memory footprint, up to 128 gigabytes or even 256 gigabytes, and also for the web tier and web caching, which is uh, which needs good performance and a good memory footprint. How's this is this is like a this is a performance. Trick, right? You're doing a very high performance ARM processor. That's correct. And it's uh, super computing. Yes. And you can run Android. That's correct. So it is also tailored for the super computing or high performance computing. So where we can uh, pair this device, uh, the Xgene device, with an NVIDIA GPU. And that's mainly plays in the high performance computing market. HP announced they're using it in the moonshot. That's right. So HP announced this in production a few weeks back at the ARM Tech Talk. It's available commercially. Anybody can buy the HP moonshot. Correct. With your ARM 64 bit inside. Correct. So anybody can buy the HP moonshot with our Xgene CPU inside today from HP's website. Correct. And the idea is better power consumption, lower operating cost. Yes. So it's a 35% savings in TCO overall when you use the HP Moonshot platform in a typical web tier or a web caching environment. 35% savings for the guys using it. So Correct. 
there's gonna be big attention yeah. to this right now. It's a very big event. Yes. Let's let's uh, see what's going. With. Can you yeah, so, unbox it a little bit? Yeah. So unboxing it. So as I mentioned, this is the basic screw. So we have the board here, the anti-static back, and uh, then uh, in addition to the board, we have, uh, as we mentioned, this is the it's an RS232 based USB adapter for serial console, and this is the power supply. So this is the basic screw that is uh, selling today for eight hundred ninety-five dollars. And then we have the plus Q, which is over here. So this, yeah. in addition to the basic Q, this has a, a mini ITX chassis. You can open it here. Can you lift it up a little bit? Yeah. So, so this is the same board that you saw before, on which we were running the Android demo. And uh, this one has uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. It has a hard drive on the side. You can see here. And uh, then it also has the power supply on the side here. Nice. So the power supply and a fan. So all in one, this is a full-featured development chassis that you can put on your desk and use it for either cloud-based application development, Android development, or anything that goes with ARM 64-bit development. This is really cool. So what is uh, Applied Micro? Can you explain a little bit? What is uh, where does Applied Micro do? Yeah. So Applied Micro is a is, has been in business since 1979, and uh, we are a public company. Our ticker symbol is AMCC. So until 2009, we were called Applied Micro Circuits Corporation. And then since 2009, we sort of rebranded ourselves at Applied Micro. And uh, since then, we have been focusing largely on the, on the ARM side of things. So we have two, two business units. One focuses on what's called connectivity products. That's a traditional OTN kind of products. And then the other side is the compute product, which is Xgene and the processors that come with Xgene family. And you're the first in adopting the ARM server revolution. That's right. So we are the first. We defined the standards with ARM for the last three years, and we've been working at it. Uh, we, have, we have the first product in production today. All right. So looking forward to all the 64-bit optimized Android apps. Thank you.